Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Hey, I'm still here. Hey, y'all. Uh, good morning. Good afternoon. Yes, it is my born day. And um, I'm going to be celebrating. But I just thought I'd get this little video in. Um, because it's real important. And yes, I did say I will be celebrating today. Um, as y'all know, I was, I'm was i a recovering uh, religion addict. And in the religions that I uh, were involved in, I really never celebrated uh, my born day at all. My birth day, the day I was born. And I decided the last couple of years to, you know, change that narrative. So, uh, yes, it is. And yes, you hear me right. I will be uh, making it a little special for those of y'all who really know me. Anyway, I have to make sure I make a comment about this because it just seems to me that uh, the LSU and the Iowa basketball game has turned so political so uh, racist that again uh, my Caucasian brothers and sisters um, that are uh, you know coming together with this narrative I, here's what I want to say individually uh, you know there's a lot of uh, Caucasian, a few Caucasian people I respect. In fact, I love dearly. Collectively, um, I'm getting to the point now where I, it's almost like I can't stand you. Okay? Collectively, y'all behavior is such that, you know, really, you know, you would have to be a damn fool if you was a person, especially a descendant of a slave, to have love for you collectively. You know, and I hope you understand where I'm coming from. And if you don't, oh well. Because who in their right mind would have somebody, every time you see them and you walking down the street, and every time you see them, they throw a brick at you. Every time. And then one day or a couple days they see you, they don't throw the brick. And you feel oh, a little relieved. But then in that third day, here they go again, throwing a brick at you again. And this is constant, constant, not just day after day. Year after year, month after month, you know, it's just insanity, okay? And so you would, uh, and my therapist told me, anytime you do the same thing over and over and over again, expect a different result, um, then you're insane. So, in other words, to be friends with these people, I got to be actually insane. I got to act like I don't see anything. I got to act like, oh, no, everything is fine. Um, that was then, uh, and this is now. And, and it's like, yeah, but my now sucks just like my ancestors now sucked uh, 400 years ago. It's just all the different. There is no time. That's like all a construct. It's the same old shit. Okay, so now they've drug Jill Biden's raggedy behind up in here. And I, you know, to say that why don't we invite Iowa to the White House? Never have you seen the loser being uh, come to the White House after LSU played so well. Usually the winner comes, right? This woman fixed her crooked mouth. To say that Iowa should join too. Now if that's not racist. It could be political. Either way it go. It's racist. You understand? You can use any mistake. Any cue that you want to do to fit your narrative. But at the end of the day. There's a bunch. There's a whole white team. That lost to a whole black team. And you think that when Don Staley said they was in there calling her team uh, monkeys and bar fighters and all this kind of shit, that that's not the narrative that y'all think about us? You know, the sports writers and the people who are the uh, scribes and the Pharisees of this day that uphold white supremacy this day. Do you think for one minute, See, y'all can be loose now. Donald Trump done opened up the floodgates to your misery, to your uh, fragility, 
and to your insanity. Now, I don't know what's going to happen. And I respect uh, Cece so much. And now she's involved with this because she's a white girl. But I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you if she's got a character and if she's got class, she'd be like, you know what? Thank you, Jim. But, you know, there's never been um, a loser invited to the White House. So we're going to decline. But thank you. And LSU decide, uh, deserves to single-handedly have their day at the White House. And anything that anybody does other than that, they can kick rocks as far as I'm concerned. And that's just what I mean. We're going, we're going to be forced to love one another. We're going to be forced to stick up for, for one another. Because as you can see, Everybody is against us. And like uh, John Henry Clark said, we don't have no friends. You hear Joe Biden got elected by black folk. Pretty much. Even though we know who he was, we knew what his track record was. We know what his stance on uh, crime and all that stuff. And the, res and the result of his... Joe Biden war on black people. We, we we understand that. But now we got your wife to deal with with the crap. So listen. That's what I mean when I say these guys are outdated. They cannot run America. They need to go with their wives. Uh all of them. Because what happens is white supremacy is at a crossroads right now. They want to keep this country white. And a good book to read is White Fear by Roland Martin. And for white people too. It's not a black book. Because you got to understand what is happening right now. And every time it seems like uh, black folk make an advancement, especially descendants of slaves, then they got to come with the heat. And now we put, I told you, it's in every facet of our lives. Entertainment, here we go with the racism. Now Jill Biden wants to invite the losers to the White House. If that ain't that be all end all, I don't know what. So I know a lot of y'all not going to like this content today. And I'm sorry, I really can't care. Okay? So with that being said, if you like what you hear, or even if you don't like what you hear, I want to hear your comment. You know, I don't ask you for much, but I would really love for some of y'all to like the channel or let me know you out there. Let me know, because I, I need to know if I'm the only one that feels this damn way. Am I the only one that feels this way? Iowa coming to the White House after they lost. Oh, what the hell? I'll see y'all in the next video.